Cam Smith, one of the best corners that will be available in this April's NFL Draft. A talented guy when you look at what he's been able to do during his time there in Columbia. The last three years, six interceptions, over 20 PBUs. This is a guy that has seen a lot of high-level play. You talk about good eye discipline, I love that about Cam. When you talk about attacking the football and being able to create turnovers, I love that with him as well. Not to mention his closing speed in deep routes, being able to close down on receivers. When you talk about running the deep fly routes, the post routes, things of that nature, he's always in the hip pocket. But the most important thing that I like about Cam, as I mentioned, the eye discipline. He believes what he sees. And when you talk about seeing that on film, he reminds me a lot of Jack Rabbit. Janoris Jenkins, a talented guy that had a nice career, a guy that utilized great sound eye discipline to pick off a lot of passes. I see the same similar traits in Cam Smith. Let's talk about Devin A. Chain, the running back, one of my favorite players uh, in the SEC, at least at that position. Came into the combine right at 185 pounds, five nines, got some thickness to him. The GMs, uh, the scouts around the league, they like that. Remarkable speed. You talk about the 40, that's great. Let's talk about what he does in the 100 meters. He's a 10 1 500 meter guy. How does that translate to the NFL? You have to find him on every play. So if you're a defender, you're a defensive coordinator, you need to locate this guy, understand where he's at and what you're going to do because he's got that much speed, uh, that much athleticism. I think a couple areas of the game uh, that people are talking about he needs to improve is this catching. Uh, he'll naturally grow and evolve as he catches more passes coming out of the backfield, blocking. Uh, probably needs to bulk up a little bit if he's going to be in every down back in the NFL. Needs to get a little bit more thick. Kind of reminds me, if you're looking at a comp of Michael James uh, coming out of Oregon in the 2012 NFL draft. Stanford wide receiver Elijah Higgins is a player that is tall. He has a muscular build and has displayed good production over the past two seasons. He shows good range to go high and low for the football with good body control. Higgins is a fluid athlete that does a natural job setting up breaks, but he does not explode into his route breaks. Higgins was a standout at the Reese's Senior Bowl before arriving at the NFL Combine where he displayed average top end speed and agility, average agility testing. His overall play strength needs to improve through routes and to be more physical at the catch point. Higgins projects as a team's third receiving option early in his career. We have compared him to 49ers wide receiver, Jawan Jennings. Ryan Hayes, offensive tackle from the University of Michigan. He's a tall, linear athlete. I think he's athletic enough to play left tackle. My biggest knock on him is he has to improve play strength, which he'll be able to do once he gets up to the NFL level. He's going to have some position flexibility to either play the left side or the right side. Some NFL teams may project him inside at guard because this kid is a physical run blocker. He does try to finish and drive people to the ground. In pass protection, he's athletic enough to move his feet. He'll use his feet to try to adjust to different pass rush moves. The struggle that he has is when he has to sink his hips and anchor versus power. Too many times he got knocked back into the quarterback's lap. My pro comparison for Ryan Hayes would be Brady Christensen, who moved into guard for the Carolina Panthers and was a second round pick a few years ago. Keedron Smith, cornerback out of Kentucky, reminds me of Keenan Lewis. Smith is an Ole Miss transfer who has experienced playing every position in the secondary. He lined up primarily at outside cornerback for Kentucky in 2022, and at 6'2", 203 pounds, he looks like an NFL defensive back. He ran in the high four fives in his pro day, and that may necessitate a move to safety at the next level. That said, he was a late add to the Senior Bowl roster and had a solid week of practice. He's a hard-nosed player who will come downhill and run support, and also has the physicality to run with bigger wide receivers on vertical routes. In fact, he showed an ability to consistently stay in phase on downfield routes, and he has the ball skills to back it up. He had seven interceptions and 24 pass breakups during his college career. He can sometimes struggle with shifty wide receivers in space, but his size and playmaking ability is an intriguing combination for NFL teams.